It's a second straight busy day of presidential campaigning here in Metro Detroit. Wednesday brought visits from former President Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, as well as Vice President Harris and her running mate, Governor Tim Walls. Those two stuck around for another rally today. This time, the setting was a UAW local, and Will Jones is live there with more. Hey there, Will. Hey, Damon. Just about five minutes ago, Vice President Harris and her motorcade passed through the street here after speaking to UAW members from Local 900. And she spent about an hour talking with these members. She was joined by her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and UAW President Sean Fain. And as you recall, last week, the UAW decided to endorse Kamala Harris for president. And that can be extremely important in a state like Michigan, a battleground state where Every vote could make the difference, and Harris knows that, and that's why she said that she was honored to receive that endorsement. You know, when you know what you stand for, you know what to fight for. We know what we stand for, and we stand for the people, and we stand for the dignity of work, and we stand for freedom. We stand for justice. We stand for equality. And so we will fight for all of it. I want to talk about how she opened her remarks. She says, quote, it was good to be in the House of Labor. So she knows how important labor is to her winning the presidency. And that is why she visited this uh, UAW Local 900. And you're likely to see her here in Michigan and other places speaking with union members. Damon? You know, well, last year during the UAW strike, mm -hmm. President Biden became the first sitting president to walk the picket line. Now, he did so here in Metro Detroit. Now, does Vice President Harris had a stronger ties with the UAW? Yeah, we all know President Biden had strong ties with labor and working class voters in particular. That was part of his appeal and why uh, President Obama asked him to join the ticket when he was uh, running for the White House. And President Biden relied on that vote. So Kamala Harris is really going to try to rely on that uh, goodwill that Biden had uh, garnered uh, during his uh, years in office. But Kamala Harris says that she has always supported uh, union. Uh, she believes in the importance of collective bargaining. She says it's all about uh, fairness. And then when the UAW endorsed her last week, they emphasized that Harris stood with them on the picket lines in 2019 during that strike. Come on. Well, one more follow up. So, you know, the Vice President Harris is on a tour of the battleground states with her running mate, Governor Walls. So, how important is he going to be in her outreach to union members and working class voters? That's part of the reason why she asked Governor Walls to join her ticket. She's hoping that he could appeal to uh, union members and working class voters. And he was very popular, or I should say, he is still very popular in Minnesota among labor because of some of the policies that he enacted, paid sick leave, paid family uh, leave, and paid medical leave. So those are some of the issues that union members care about. So you will likely see Walls in front of uh, union members like here in Michigan and, and, of course, in other battleground states hoping to drum up that support. It's one thing to receive that endorsements. Another thing for members to show up at the polls and then vote for the ticket. Damon? All right, we'll definitely appreciate that perspective and that context. Thank you so much. You know, former President Trump spoke to the media from his Mar-a-Lago home in his first press conference since Vice President Kamala Harris announced Minnesota Governor Tim Walz is her running mate. Mr. Trump says he wants to debate VP Harris three times next month. I just look forward to these debates. I think it's very important that we have them. I hope she agrees to them September 4th, September 10th, September 25th. And uh, I think they'll be very revealing. Well, so far, Vice President Harris has agreed to participate in one of those debates. That's on September 10th.